They sit on top of military vehicles and scan the landscape for threats. It's the Common Remotely Operated Weapon System, or CROWS, a gunner's position remotely operated by a soldier inside the vehicle. They're powerful, high-tech, and require proper training to be maintained and operated. That training starts here, in the classroom. This only happens maybe like maybe 12 times a year throughout the Army and all the other services, the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force, the Coast Guard. So this is a, this is a rare occurrence. Training for Crows takes one week, but for three weeks, non-commissioned officers from 2nd Brigade 1st Cavalry Division are also training to be trainers. Uh, well, this is actually going to be a Crows facility. We're actually establishing a Crows training course on Fort Hood, an operator's course. We'll be able to train our soldiers. It's the first time Army NCOs will be qualified to train other soldiers on the Crow system, not just for Fort Hood, but the United States Army. Yes, the only pilot program. This is the pilot, and if once uh, the Army starts setting up, they're going to try to put it at a different location. But this is the pilot program for the Army. Fire. 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 Good. They're uh, actually qualified to do uh, operator training. Uh, they are not qualified to do an actual T3 teach, you know, produce instructors, but they can produce operators. And the success of a new program like this will rest on the shoulders of NCOs. I will tell you that the 1st Cav Division of 2nd Brigade, they gave me top-notch NCOs. These guys retain, they want to learn, they're motivated, uh, they care about the NCO Corps. Crows sit on top of vehicles, but now NCOs will train the Army's newest operators side by side. Reporting for America's First Team, I'm Army Sergeant Elliot Valdez.